there, folks, and welcome back to another Pinal Prep Spotlight brought to you by Jonesport Buick GMC, your hometown dealer for more than 50 years. This will probably be our final uh, winter sports Pinal Prep Spotlight as we just have one team remaining in the state tournament. And just narrowly do we have this one team still. The Coolidge Boys basketball team has advanced to the 3A Conference semifinals, which will take place on Friday night at the Arizona uh Veterans Memorial Coliseum. They will be going up against Holbrook. And David, let's just get into how the Bears made it this far. Yeah, it was nuts. I mean, obviously, you know, our, our guy Joey Chenoweth out there and Finley Toyo to set her up in Prescott, seeing the whole game. And it was a crazy turn of events that we, we were able to see on YouTube where they were streaming it and just, you know, Ailey Queen Creek, they were going out, they were tied. Ailey Queen Creek uh, score, scores the tying goal or the tying, tying bucket in the late, late minutes, in the late seconds there. And then Coolidge is passing the ball around with about 10 seconds left. And then Josh Pratt. Josh Pratt is wide open, takes a two-point shot, sinks it, and they win it and they move on. This is an incredible team here. And speaking on Josh Pratt, like how this team got here, let's talk about how they got here, basically. They were they got here up being one of the best teams in 3A, arguably, you know, 25 and 2 in the regular season. And you know, they play very sound team basketball. They are not a uh, selfish team. They play unselfish basketball. They have four guys that I've said previously who have scored, you know, 10 points in the regular season. But two of them I want to talk about specifically are uh, Braden Gant and Drew Madrid. Those guys are juniors, so they were still able to produce in their junior level. And then one more guy I want to talk about is Carlos Coronado. He's a freshman who scored about eight points a game. So not, with that being said, the reason I want to bring those guys up is that this team is both built to win now and in the future. So this team is going to be good for a number of years, especially if they can develop some of their younger guys. And as a freshman, if you're scoring eight points a game, you're doing a pretty good job. So these guys are awesome. They're doing really well. They can't wait to see them play against Holbrook. Hope they can keep moving on, and we'll see what happens in the last of the semifinals and then possibly moving on to the finals in a couple of days. All right, now looking at the other side, Holbrook comes in at the number six seed. They just had an upset. Um, they won, They defeated number three, Camp Verde, just before this Coolidge game. And leading the way for them is Noah Brown, uh, averaging 14.7 points per game. And then you also have Brandon Toppa and Quinton Thomas. Both are averaging around 13 points per game. So their, their um, style of play is kind of similar to ALA Gilbert Norris. So it's going to be interesting to see what Coolidge takes away from this game and what adjustments they can make um, before Friday for when they take on Holbrook. David, what are you expecting from this Coolidge Bears team on Friday? Well, also look out for the defense as well. Like, this was a low-scoring game they just played against A.L.A. Gilbert. The final score was 37-35. So a lot of teams are just not able to score now because of either big defense or just being a little bit timid on offense. So expect the defense to pull to hold up as well and be strong in that point. So, But then when the defense is doing that well, I think they're going to have to score. They're going to have to rely on the guys that they've been relying on throughout the regular season. Guys like Gann that I spoke about, guys like Madrid, these guys are able to shoot and be able to score whenever they need to, so they have to keep the offense on track while also not forgetting about the defense because if they lapse any time on defense, the other team can go on huge runs and get them in huge deficits. So they have to look out for those things, and it's going to be a great matchup here. And then these teams are both hungry, and they're looking to go to the finals, and they're going to have to go, go at it between one another to see who, who will prevail. So another guy we have to point out that we mentioned him all season long is MJ Clegg. Um, like Gant, he's a big producer for the Bears, uh, 13.5 points per game, 7.8 rebounds, and 1.3 blocks. Now, as David mentioned, Coolidge has a lot of different options. And on top of that, they have Dave Glasgow back as a coach. Um, in prior years, Glasgow knew the winning formula. It seems like he still has that magic touch. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens on Friday night. And if the Bears do happen to win, then the championship game will be Saturday, also at the Coliseum. And that opponent will be um, still unknown. It all depends on what happens on Friday. Um, David, is there anything else you want to add? They just got to keep it going like throughout their this entire playoff runs. It's been take it one game at a time. I know a lot of coaches say they do want to take it one game at a time, but that truly is the game plan for these guys. They have to focus on what team they're facing at this exact moment and focus on them solely before they can get ahead of themselves. So be ready for Holbrook to come out swinging and be looking to get the upset like they just did in this quarterfinal game in the semifinals against Coolidge. But look for Coolidge to rely on the guys that they've been relying on all season and look to, to get to that finals and bring another championship to Coolidge. 
All right, that does it for this Pinup Prep Spotlight. Be sure to check out Pinal Central throughout the weekend for all of your playoff game coverage. (laughs) 